Well, good morning, everyone, and thank you for attending today's sixth annual Reese Across America Arrival Ceremony. My name is Tony Costin, and I will be serving as your MC uh, today. I'd like to extend a uh, special welcome to some folks, but before we do, go ahead, if you're in the front, please have a seat. Uh, I'd like to welcome our Gold Star families that are in attendance. Thank you very much. I'd like to welcome our executive leadership on the stage here and in the stands. Uh, our guest speaker today is Ms. Kelly Mulvihill. And I'd like to welcome my fellow veterans and two of our DCS drivers, Mr. Lydolf Sistad and Gary Neal, who drove our wrap truck in this morning and will be driving it tomorrow morning to the Fayetteville National Cemetery for the Reese. Give them a hand. So tomorrow's National Wreath Laying Day is an opportunity for us to remember our fallen veterans, honor those who serve, and teach our children the value of freedom and the importance of honoring those who sacrificed to protect those freedoms. If y'all would like to be seated, please. Except you, Chaplain. I get to uh, welcome to the stage to open up our ceremony our chaplain, Michael Collins, he is a senior power carrier recruiter at J.B. Hunt, and he's also the battalion chaplain for 2nd Battalion of the 142nd Field Artillery Brigade, and he is going to lead us in our opening prayer. So I would ask that you please stand for the invocation, followed by the presentation of the colors and the singing of the national anthem. Chaplain Collins. If you would bow with me as we address the Almighty. Dear Father, creator of heaven and earth, thank you for this opportunity to recognize you and to honor our service members who have made the ultimate sacrifice for a nation that you have blessed so greatly in your love. It is this great love reflected in the generous Worcester Wreath Company and the other corporations like J.B. Hunt who sacrifice so much to honor the fallen. We recognize that immortal truth in John 15, 13, that greater love has no one than this, that one lay down his life for his friends. Thank you, Father, for the service members of all branches who has paid the ultimate price of love for us. And how fitting we do this during the holiday of Christmas, where we celebrate the birth of the uniquely begotten Son of God, the ultimate example of laying down life to save all others who believe. And we pray for the Gold Star families here today, Father, that you flood their heart with peace that can surpass all understanding, perhaps with the comfort that you, too, made the ultimate sacrifice on the cross. As we remember the cradle in this season, help us to remember also that in the cross, death has been overturned, slain, its stinger ripped out, its victory snatched away, even though it nips at our heels. Grief and the grave will be cast out for all eternity on that final day, even as God will wipe away every tear from our eyes. It is in this mighty Son and Savior's name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Chaplain. And our color guard members, Stephen Jones and Sedante Cole, will now present the colors. And now I'd like to introduce Mr. Zach Taylor, who will be singing our national anthem. Zach. So proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight. Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave well 
Please be seated. Uh, thank you, Zach, for that rendition of our national anthem. And if our J.B. Hunt choir gets off the ground, I nominate you for the choir director. <laughs> so as any coach would tell you, seconded, you're in. As any coach would tell you, the preparation for the next championship season begins the day after the last championship. Uh, and our annual participation in Reese Across America is no different. For the past 364 days, our next speaker has been working tirelessly to bring all of this together. It's my pleasure to introduce our Vice President of Open Deck and Government Services and my boss and friend, Mr. Ed Harwell. Good morning and thank you for joining us today. Uh, welcome again to the Gold Star families and other guests. Uh, thank you again to our executive leadership. Without your generosity, this wouldn't be possible. Thanks to the Arkansas State Police, the Arkansas Highway Police, the Alma Police Department, Crawford County Sheriff Department, and Lowell Police Department, we pray for your safety daily. Uh, thanks to Pig Trail Harley Davison, Pig Trail Hog, and Arkansas Truck Centers for the support in our convoy coming here this morning. Chaplain said it well, John 15, 13 says, greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. The heroes who will receive these wreaths lived the words of John and made the ultimate sacrifice with their love for those around them. Their families and loved ones sacrificed lives full of time together and stood watch at home on countless nights praying for their safe return. Today we honor the lives of the heroes with this ceremony and tomorrow we honor them with these wreaths. This year, 86 J.B. Hunt transport drivers are transporting approximately 180,000 wreaths that are destined for more than 30 cemeteries throughout the country. The wreaths will travel 69,147 miles, I added it up, on J.B. Hunt equipment uh, to all parts of the country. Starting in Maine, the wreaths will travel to Virginia, Ohio, Illinois, Mississippi, Arkansas, Texas, Colorado, Arizona, California, Oregon, and Washington State. This is one of 13 key exchange ceremonies uh, that took place during the transport of these wreaths. I want to thank the leaders in East Brunswick, New Jer uh, Jersey City, Philadelphia, Harrisburg, Pittsburgh, Richmond, Boston, Charlotte, and Nashville for honoring the service and caring for the drivers while transporting these wreaths. The wreaths will be laid during 30 wreath laying ceremonies tomorrow and I encourage each of you to join in your local community. This year we wrapped 11 company tractors and two commemorative trailers to transport the wreaths. The tractors will be assigned to veteran drivers reflecting their pride and service to their country. The wreaths we deliver are made of 10 balsam bouquets. Each of the bouquets represent the qualities and characteristics of a veteran. The first is their faith in God. The next, love for each other. The next, strength, work ethic, and character. The next, honesty and integrity. The ne next, selflessness and modesty. The next, ambitions and aspirations. The next, optimism for America. The next, concern for the future. The next, pride in their duties. And the last, their hopes and dreams that didn't always come true but left them with no regrets. Reese Across America has had several themes in past years. Say their names, I'm an American, be their witness, and this year, everyone plays a part. As I was preparing for today, I thought about my part. For me, Reese Across America program started in May. Destinations, routes, trucks, trailers, drivers, clothing, travel, coordination, picks ups, deliveries, and so much more. I don't accomplish this mission alone. This year, I'd like to recognize D. Genders, Tyler Parks, Holly Hare, Heather Counts, Toria Simpson, Casey Wright, Amy Bain. Andy Sanders, Monica Cato, Lisa Meza, Nicole McDonald, and Amber Forga for your hard work and dedication to accomplish this mission. <clears throat> the 
These loads are incredibly important. Without those who will receive these wreaths, other loads may not be possible. These heroes sacrificed everything that we hold close to our heart. Without them, the freedoms we enjoy may not be possible, the kind of freedoms that are experienced no place else in the world. In closing, my call to action for you is to play your part, to be their witness, say their names often, honor their sacrifices in the way that you live, Never forget who they were, and show your love by lifting up those around you. Thank you for joining us today. God bless you all, and God bless America. Well, next I get to introduce somebody. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, now, let's see. There he is. I was looking for our trumpet player. Please uh, join me in honoring during taps and render the salute. Please rise. Present the colors. Please be seated. And next, uh, I'd like to introduce somebody who really needs no introduction, our CEO, John Roberts. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. I'd like to start with a, an additional thanks um, <clears throat> to our Patrol, State Patrol and Highway Department, and to you guys for leading us in. Uh, I think every year we add an element of improvement, as is our custom. And I think that this year, of course, is uh, no, no different. And uh, uh, we've, we've achieved new heights. We'll be striving for even higher highs as we go forward here. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that we're working on here at J.B. Hunt in, in our support outside of the business is finding ways to be more national in scope. And this, this opportunity with Rees Across America has grown from what started as a fairly uh, local effort to, as you just heard Ed say, something that is without doubt a national presence for us. Uh, so many people that, that support this company do not live in Northwest Arkansas, so it gives us a lot of uh, encouragement that we're, we're, we're able to celebrate and and honor uh, all, all of our employees and their families in these ways and uh, I, I want to add my thanks to the list of people and all the folks that have helped with uh, putting this together again this year <clears throat> excuse me last night I was looking through some video of the key exchange that that Ed mentioned on this journey and and I can tell you having participated in that it's it's very much a ceremony like this. We, we stop and take time to reflect on actually what we're doing, who we're doing it for, uh, why we're doing it. And, and without exception in our operating centers and our terminals, it, it's always a very reverent time and a very honoring time, a very respectful time. And I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about that and very thankful for that. These, these, this equipment that we continue to put out on the highways also, I think, reflects that recognition and honor that, that is, is ever present even after today. As Ed mentioned, these trucks will stay with us. They'll be driven by veterans. I think we continue to 
uh, illustrate our pride and, and our appreciation for the military and our veterans. Uh, we've put a goal together uh, some years ago to hire 10,000 veterans by 2020. Eric, uh, are, are you giving me a, a, a green light? We're going to make that goal. We were very close. Uh, I'm, I'm really, really proud of that effort. That's a long journey that, that we committed to. Uh, and I can tell you, I sent out an email recently. We were just a few off, and uh, I sent out a, an email to the company wanting to uh, encourage all of us if we had not registered to register and the, I got several emails back that were so encouraging from people all over the country just thanking us for our support. I'd like to ask you if you are a veteran or, or an active military person would you raise your hand? I'd like to, for us to say thank you to all of you for your service. I think mainly the, the, the important part of, of the takeaway for me is this is a very special day in the way that we honor our veterans, but truly every day is a special day. And I don't want it to be lost as just one, one day or one event. It, this, is, this is where we stand. Um, lastly, I'll just say that uh, over time, really in the last 10 years, I think the company has come a long way in knowing what is important to it in our communities, both here and around the country. We've focused some priority on education, on health care, on crisis management, and those are vitally important to, to the people that work here, our families, our communities. The fourth and maybe most important is our support for veterans. I, I am glad for the other three, but I can tell you that I am very personally proud of the way this company supports veterans. As some of you know, and I've mentioned often, my grandfather was a doctor in the Marine Corps. My great uncle Harry was actually killed in action in World War II, and we just properly laid him to rest about two years ago. Uh, it's part of my family. My nephew just graduated from the Naval Academy and is actually stationed at Pensacola right now. The military's part of everything that we do as a country and our company's ability to genuinely authentically support our veterans day in and day out through activities like this and in other ways is so important the the story i'm going to close with is um i was thinking back as i do on this day uh, which is one of my favorites of the whole year what is it about my heartfelt support for veterans. Where does that come from? And I remember photographically a time when I was a, a young man, boy maybe, at a friend's house during the Vietnam War and watching people mock and disrespect veterans as they returned home from service. And I remember so clearly knowing how wrong that was. And it started something way back then that has built and grown for me. And it is with complete commitment and conviction that we stand in support of our military and our veterans. Thank you for coming out today. I've asked, Nick was a co-pilot. He assured me that he did not drive this truck today. His CDL long ago expired. I've asked Nick to say a few words for it. Thank you, John. Appreciate it. Thanks, John. Uh, I did not drive, but uh, lead off, I, I thought I was going to have to grab the wheel. He got to talking a time or two coming across <laughs> the mountain, so um, he's not used to having anybody in the cab with him, I think. So I appreciate it. It was an honor riding with you, and uh, yeah, I appreciate the service uh, that you've performed for us at J.B. Hunt and also the military. Uh, this is an honor to represent the executive team to get to ride in. I've done this another time, and I see Snake here on the front row. I rode with him a few years ago. So I appreciate that. The thing I love about this company is the cloth, the fabric of who we are, and the military is such a large part. I've attended many of these ceremonies through the years everywhere, and it's a common bond that pulls us all together. And just the company loves veterans, and I love the rally. You can see it across the nation. Everybody's excited about this. Ed puts a lot of time into it. Literally, he'll start tomorrow and putting it together next year's program, and I appreciate that. You can see he's passionate, and I love that passion. 
and I love our company and what it represents. It's personal to me because my father was a disabled veteran. He lost a leg in the Korean War. I grew up with him. I uh, grew up with a military um, family, and uh, we're part of the VA system, and, and so I have a passion for that. And then my uh, stepfather and mother, they're laid to rest down at Fayetteville at the National Cemetery. So this means a lot to me. I did not have the opportunity to go in the military, but to see the representation and see the pride that we exhibit for those that have lost their lives serving the country, but also those veterans that are still out here, I appreciate everything you do. It's an honor to represent you at J.B. Hunt. Thank you. Well, thank you both, gentlemen. Uh, we're very honored today to have a Gold Star family member as our uh, guest speaker this morning. Miss Kelly Mulvihill is attending today uh, with her sister Tracy, and they are both uh, Gold Star sisters of Sergeant First Class Kevin P. Jessen, who was killed in action March 5th of 2006 while serving in Operation Iraqi Freedom. Sergeant First Class Jessen hailed from Paragould, Arkansas, and was assigned to the 22nd Chemical Battalion. He was posthumously awarded the Bronze Star Medal and the Purple Heart Medal, and he's also survived by his wife, Carrie Jessen, and a then two-year-old son, Cameron, who is now 16. So please welcome to the stage our guest speaker, Kelly. Thank you very much. Um, it's an honor to be here today. Thank you, Ed, for inviting me and uh, letting me address everyone. Um, it's a little awkward to um, talk about our loved ones that have passed away, um, especially in this sort of situation. It's sort of a topic I don't always like to talk about, but getting off on a tangent of it is what I want to do because a lot of times whenever we have friends and family even who have a, a someone close to them pass away we don't want to talk about it because we're afraid of um, upsetting them or you know just it's just awkward so what I want to tell everybody is that it's good to talk about our loved ones that have passed away because it's um, just by speaking the names of them, by uh, reviving memories, talking about their virtues and even their faults, uh, even making new memories sort of adjacent to them. It's all ways of remembering them and their lives. And that is something that um, it's very comforting for the people who have suffered that loss. So it's, um, it's like when their names are spoken and when these things come up, it's like they're still alive with us. And even when, you know, when we think of them, it's one thing, but when other people come to us and talk about them, it, it makes it even better. It, it, just, it just makes their memory alive, and it's almost like they're still alive. So um, whenever that loved one served his country and even died for his country, it makes remembering them even more important and more significant. So that's why being here today and participating in the Reese Across America program and is, is so honoring, um, and it's honoring the memory of not just my brother, but of, of all the soldiers across the country. And so that's really amazing to be part of that. So many families um, having, their, having their loved ones remembered, having their names be said, um, it's just kind of helping them stay alive even more for everyone. When Kevin passed away, I was, through all that process, it, I was always in awe of the effort that people put forward to show respect and remembrance. Um, whenever we were going in the funeral procession, seeing all the people lined up against, uh, along the roads, uh, the Patriot Guard that participated in the ceremony at Paragould especially, um, I was just uh, amazed by that. The strangers sent notes to us in the mail honoring and giving thanks for his sacrifice. Um, the conference room at the 22nd Chemical Battalion in Maryland was named in his honor, and we got to attend that ceremony. Um, then, then, then that transfer to the uh, battalion headquarters in El Paso at Fort Bliss. All those things just, you, you know, it's just amazing that they, um, 
that they were done in honor of him, and again, just making, making it seem like he was still, still with us in a way. The Arkansas Fallen Heroes Memorial, started by Rob Har Harper, uh, and then taken over by Bubba and Angela Beeson, was um, as part of the Arkansas Run for the Fallen. It's, a, it's an amazing investment also that was made to remember our state's military heroes. I try to run Kevin's Mile each year, and it's, uh, it's always unexpected, I don't know why, but it, it just makes me want to cry when the soldiers that run along, they want to shake my hand and thank me uh, for Kevin's sacrifice, and, and, they, and they say that, that he won't be forgotten. That's part of, part of what they do at each stop, is say that each soldier won't be forgotten, and, and that just, it just means the world, and, and they, they give me hugs and give me thanks, and I cry every time. <laughs> I don't know why it's a surprise, but, um, but anyway, many thanks to the Beesons for what they do and for that. Um, that means a lot to, to all the families that um, are honored. The inaugural Jess and Cup competition last year um, at Fort Bliss was truly an amazing thing. They, um, J.B. Hunt made it possible for, um, for the family to attend that event and to see that um, see those soldiers participating in those activities that my brother did with the EOD and the chemical battalion. Um, we got to see some of the little scenarios and some of the, uh, some of the things that they, got, that they were doing in, as a competition. And Kevin just loved that stuff. He, he loved to participate in, in anything, you know, with EOD and with chemical battalion. He'd come back with stories. Uh, so it was just an honor to be able to see it and to know that those things are happening in his honor and hopefully in perpetuity that it'll keep going, to keep honoring him, to keep his name alive in his memory. So uh, the downfall of that was my parents weren't there to see it. I wish they could have been there to, to, see, to see that and everything else that's going on in honor of our fall, fallen soldiers. Uh, for the Jessen Cup to be repeated in the future, again, it's a great way that, to, to kind of keep his memory alive. Um, and so it's almost like he's still with us. The Reese Across America take this so much further by honoring families across the nation, uh, making sure their loved ones are not only forgotten, but honoring them uh, with their, for their honor and sacrifice. So I truly believe that through re remembrance, through repeating our loved ones' names and the names to other people of their loved ones by reviving those memories, it, it makes them all um, alive a little bit to us. So I encourage everybody to, uh, to make that effort, especially around Christmas time, to uh, remember those that have fallen, especially, especially our military heroes. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Kelly, for sharing your story uh, about Kevin uh, today with us. And for uh, I, I know I am wearing underneath my sweater, it's cold, but I'm wearing my Justin Cup polo as well. And I know many of us do on uh, frequently on Fridays, uh, remembering everyone deployed. But thank you for sharing your story with him. And I am reminded uh, that this week, when you mentioned how much it means for the community to come out and support uh, lining the roads and things like that. We, we also remember uh, this week our Fayetteville police officer, Stephen Carr, who was uh, killed in the line of duty this week uh, right here in Fayetteville. But thank you for, again for sharing uh, your message with us today. Uh, thank you for all our Gold Star families that are in attendance uh, for your sacrifice as well. Um, I hope that after this uh, we'll take the time to uh, linger and, and visit with you and, and remember uh, your story and your sacrifice as well. And uh, as we continue the theme of Wreaths Across America to remember, to honor, and to teach. Uh, before we close the ceremony, I would like to invite those who are able to join us tomorrow at the Fayetteville National uh, Cemetery where we will be laying a wreath in honor of all of our fallen veterans that are buried there. Uh, it begins at 10 o'clock and there is a shuttle bus uh, that leaves from Bomb Stadium. Parking is very tight, so if you'll get there early enough and make arrangements for that, you can take the shuttle and participate in uh, the ceremony. Thank you again to our special guests, our guest speakers, our color guard, uh, the Patriot Guard, the Trail Hog chapter, our police escorts, everyone for your participation today. And please rise as the color guard retires the colors.
God bless everyone. Thank you very much. Have a good day.